Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to show the given function u is harmonic. We are going to find its conjugate and we are also going to find f of z. Now let's take u. u equal to half log x square plus y square. Now we are going to find ux ux is partial derivative 2 of u with respect to x so half is constant which is written as it is this is 1 by x square plus y square then by chain rule this derivative is 2x and y square is constant so only 2x will come after cancelling this we have x by x square plus y square now we have to find u x x to prove it is harmonic we have to prove that it satisfies the Laplace equation. Now we have to do quotient rule. Derivative of the numerator is 1 and denominator is kept as it is minus numerator is kept as it is and this derivative is 2x whole division x square plus y square and whole square. And this is minus 2x square. When I subtract, we get x square minus 2x square is minus x square. So finally, it is y square minus x square whole division x square plus y square whole square. In the same way, we are going to find u y which is 1 by 2 into 1 by x square plus y square into 2y because x square is a constant. So after cancelling this, we get y by x square plus y square. We are going to find u y y using quotient rule. Derivative of the numerator is 1 and x square plus y square is kept as it is minus y into derivative of the denominator is 2y square. Sorry, 2y then whole division we have square of the denominator we follow the quotient rule the numerator when i multiply this this is minus 2y square after subtraction we get minus y square so finally this is x square minus y square by x square plus y square whole square we are going to add uxx and uyy. So here the numerator is y square minus x square. Even here the numerator is x square minus y square. Both has a common denominator. So we take single denominator which is x square plus y square whole square and in the numerator we can cancel minus x square plus x square and y square minus y square. So totally it is 0. So, it satisfies the Laplace equation since uxx plus uyy equal to 0, it is harmonic. So, we completed the first part. Now, we are going to find f of z. For that we need ux of z comma 0. Already we got ux here. From this we can find ux of z comma 0. Replacing x as z and y as 0. That means x by x square plus y square. So z by z square plus 0 square. Anyway this is z square only. So z by z square and this gives 1 by z. In the same way, u y of z comma 0, wherever y is there, I have to put 0, but the numerator has y, so everything becomes 0 here. So, f of z is u plus i v, and f dash of z is u x plus i v x. Now, using CR equations u x is v y and u y is minus v x. So 
this vx can be replaced as minus uy and that gives f dash of z becomes ux minus i u y we are going to replace but before that using Milner Thompson method f of z becomes integral u x of z comma 0 d z minus i integral u y of z comma 0 d z plus c by replacing this this is 1 by z d z and the second term is 0 we have plus c because u y is 0 this integration will become log z plus c thus we got f of z now we have to find its conjugate that is v imaginary part so f of z is u plus i v actually this is one part of the answer now we are going to separate real part and imaginary part this becomes log of x plus i y but the problem is replacing like this it is not possible to separate the real part and imaginary part so z we are going to write in the polar form that is r into e power i theta because always z is r into e power i theta now this can be written as log r plus log e power i theta now using the log rule this i theta can be brought here so log r plus i theta into log e log e is 1 so finally we get u plus i v which is log r plus i into theta by comparison the imaginary part is theta and therefore v equal to theta but theta is the argument the formula is tan inverse imaginary part by real part because z in the Cartesian form is x plus i y and modulus of z that is r the formula is root of x square plus y square and argument theta is tan inverse imaginary part by real part so we got the its conjugate also that is v equal to tan inverse y by x.